It's kind of selling on sporting icons. Okay, so a little bit of an update with the Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury situation. Their fight, is it on, is it off? Anyway, Jake Paul yesterday, he's saying how Tommy Fury, um, it looks like uh, he's ducking the fight again, coming up with all kinds of excuses. And Tommy Fury has now responded today, about an hour or so ago, saying he's had enough of all the money talks, all that kind of stuff. You and me, we'll fight next month in the UK, um, I think he said Manchester in London or something like that, however, for free. Give all the proceeds to charity. Now, if this was a 50-50 fight, as in a 50-50 split, I could probably get on board with that. I'd go, yeah, fair enough. I can understand that. It's a legitimate offer, right? But the reality is, and here's the reality. Jake Paul is bringing probably 90% to this fight. So the money that this fight, if it was to happen, would generate, would be off the back of Jake Paul. It would be. Tommy Fury, and I, and I think I'm being a little bit generous here by saying he brings maybe 10%. Listen, he's got a big social media following from Love Island, all that kind of stuff, but how many of them actually watch his fights? How many times have we seen Tommy Fury fight in front of empty seats? He's not a headliner, is he? He's not even area level. Jake Paul is throwing him a bone. Now, apparently, only what we're hearing, I have no idea if this is true, but apparently Jake Paul has offered to pay Tommy Fury around about two, two and a half million dollars. Now, if that's not good money to fight a quote unquote YouTuber who Tommy says he could beat with one hand tied behind his back, all that kind of stuff, then what exactly is the problem? However much money is in the pot for Tommy, why not just accept it? If you really believe you're gonna beat him, go ahead, fight him, beat him. For some, could be the hero of boxing for ending this so-called YouTuber. I don't agree with that terminology. Um, I really don't. I think if you look at the career of Tommy Fury currently and the career of Jake Paul, Jake Paul has a better resume than Tommy. He does. So, why not just go in there, if you don't care about the money, just go in there and fight him. Whatever money's on the table, put in your pocket and see where it goes. See how the fight goes. Now, as far as giving the money to charity, that's always good. Listen, I'm always on board for charity, of course. But in reality, if, for example, Tommy was going to get two million, whatever. Okay, so how about you put that two million to charity? Jake Paul puts two million of whatever it is that he's going to be earning to charity as well. That way, you're both giving exactly the same. Well, why not? And Jake Paul can keep whatever else is left. What, four million, five million to charity? That's pretty good money, right? I don't get that. It, I mean, it kind of like reminds me, listen, I know it's not even close to what it really is, but it's like, um, I had this guy once, um, probably, what, three, four years ago, he wanted to make a bet with me about some kind of fight. I forget, I don't forget what it was. And I, at the time, I had about 25, 30,000 subscribers. He had 100 subscribers. And he wanted to bet my channel against his that whoever's wrong will close down their channel. I'm like, but the playing field isn't even. It doesn't make any sense. So therefore, the playing field has to be even for Tommy and Jake to put money to the charity, correct? Tommy's not bringing 50% of the revenue. Listen, he may well be in the UK. Tommy is a British fighter. Yes, he is the brother of Tyson Fury, which is why he's got the gig. That's the only reason why he's got the gig. But if Jake Paul was, I don't know, earn 10 million from this fight, as an example, Tommy ain't going to be earning 10 million from this fight. So it's not an even playing field, is it? Hey, I don't know. Maybe Jake would accept it. I have no idea. No idea. But anyway, that's the news. Just going around and around in circles, isn't it? Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.